One of the amazing things about the custom clipping cap is that you're able to go to any beauty supply store, any internet site, a wig shop, and you can get the exact match for your hair. So you can get the exact color, the exact length, the exact quality, whether it be synthetic or Remy hair, anything. So it will look perfect with your hair. Once you've picked out your hair weft, you're going to want to measure it to make sure that it's at least 62 inches long. Now any full hair weft is going to be 62 inches long. Most of them are even more than that, maybe about 65 or so inches long. Now a quick tip, if the hair weft is under $10, it's most likely a half hair weft, so you may have to buy a couple of them or a few of them. So I've measured out my weft and it's about 66 inches long. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start cutting my weft. I'm going to use the directions that are in the custom clipping kit. Can you see that? Can you see that pretty clearly? Where it shows the cutting, cut hair weft to match tape length exactly. Okay. So I'm going to cut one nine inch piece of hair weft. So you can use a tape measure, you can use a scissors. So I'm just going to measure out nine inches, which is right there. I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut right at nine inches. Then according to the directions, it says I should cut three, three 9.5 inch pieces. As I'm doing this, I'm going to keep my pieces in order so that nine inch piece is going to be at the bottom. And if you can see that, it's going to be at the very bottom. And then I'm going to place the other pieces on top of it. So my next piece is 9.5 inches. And one thing to note is if the hair weft that you bought is like 62 inches or you know like 62.5, just be really careful when you're cutting, you know, make sure that they're you know nine inches, 9.5 inches. A lot of the hair wefts out there are, are more than 62. Just gonna cut the three 9.5 inch. So if you know how to use a tape measure and a scissors, you can do this. It's really simple. Actually, one of my friend's nine-year-old daughters put the tape, uh, put the cap together with the tape. So it's really easy. So I'm just going to continue on cutting, making sure that I keep the hair in order on the side. I'm going to zip through so you're, you're not um, watching for too long, and I'm going to cut to when I do the, the last one, the one 3.5 piece. So I've just cut my last piece, my 3.5 inch piece. And I'm going to place it at the top of my pile. And I've, again, been keeping this pile in order. So starting at the very bottom with the 9-inch piece and then working my way up. Now, I had this piece left over because my weft was a little bit longer than 62 inches. So I'm just going to put that on the side. We're not going to need that. So I'm going to start assembling my hair weft. You're always going to want to start from the bottom. So you're going to want to start from this smallest piece, you know, the piece that's towards you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel off the bottom piece of tape and then just discard that piece of paper. And then I'm just going to place the hair weft onto the tape. And I cut that one a little bit too long. So if, if, um, if you do that, you can just cut it off. Just cut off the extra. 
and you're going to want to firmly press. So once you have the tape on there, and the, I mean the hair on the tape, you're just going to want to firmly press once it's on there straight. So it will look like this. Can you see that? Hmm. And I'm just going to work my way up the cap. So I'm just going to take the next piece off and then put the next one on there. It's really easy, it only takes a couple minutes. But there's no rush. The most important step is to firmly press. Because if you don't firmly press and get all those air bubbles out and you don't get that tape to mesh with the hair, it won't it won't stay, so you're going to have to really, you know, just press on there. It's really easy. See, and that's, that's what it looks like. Can you see that? I was kind of in a rush when I was cutting because um, I was doing it for the camera, so I made this one a little bit too long, too. You can cut them off at the end, too. It's probably better if you just wait till the end, but just for the sake of this video, I'll just cut them off as I go along. Looking good. Just going to keep moving up the cap. We may fast forward through um, a couple layers just so you guys don't have to you know, watch. It's pretty simple. You're just going to work your way up the cap. And the good thing about this tape is that if you don't get it straight on there the very first try, you can just peel it off if it's in under a minute and just start over. It doesn't really meld with the tape um, for a couple minutes. So you have that opportunity if you did mess it up at first to just peel it off really simple. And once it is on there straight and you have it on there the way you like, then just really firmly press on there to get it really melded. That is the most important step. And at the end, I'm going to go over everything again and firmly press. You can almost like hear some air bubbles in there, so make sure that you firmly press that hair into the tape. So that's what it looks like so far. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the top layer because you guys pretty much get the hint. I'm just going to keep working my way up the cap. Okay, so I've worked my way up to the top layer of the cap, remembering to press down firmly as I went along. That is key, pressing down firmly on each layer of the cap as you work your way up. So, so now I'm on to the last layer, and I don't know if you could see this in the first part of the video, but that's what the tape looks like once you, you know, it's a double-sided tape. So can you see that? Now, the most important cut, it was this 9 inch piece. So make sure that when you do that first cut, you make that piece at least, you know, the 9 inches. Because this is the most important layer, is this top layer. So, just making sure that it's even on there. And I made that, that one just a little bit longer on purpose because I wanted to make sure that, that it covered up that top. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to firmly press on every single layer. It's really important because if you don't firmly press at this point, 
it may never meld completely right. So this is probably the most critical step of the whole cap is pressing down firmly. And you see how I'm like taking my fingers and working it like on both sides of the cap to make sure that it's pressed firmly. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to do that again on every single part of this cap. I'm going to spend probably a good five minutes just firmly pressing on the parts that I've already pressed together. That's how this tape works is it actually um, is activated by being pushed together. So I'm getting out all, all the air bubbles and I'm firmly pressing. So you guys can figure out how to do that. So this is my finished custom clipping cap. I got the exact match for the type of hair I wanted. So that is the beauty of the custom clip-in, is that you can create a hair extension that is the exact color, texture, style to your existing hair. Celebrities pay thousands of dollars for something like that. Now I chose a hair weft that um, was kind of light and airy, just wanted to add a little extra volume. But you can choose a different type of hair weft. Um, some of the hair wefts will have almost double the amount of hair on them. So, totally your choice, but excited to have made my own customized one piece extension for a fraction of the cost. So ideally you're going to want to wait 72 hours before wearing your extension. So once you've firmly pressed everything, you're going to want to just lay it flat on a table like this for 72 hours. Give it a chance to fully meld and bond. 